Bickley and Marotta. Bickley and Marotta mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. Corbin Carroll is hot. Hotter than Satan's bathwater, hotter than a stolen tamale, hotter than a tinfoil sweater, hotter than a fire hydrant chasing a dog on Georgia asphalt. Which leads to an interesting question. Can a reigning rookie of the year encore with a comeback player of the year award? Of course not, but Carroll hit two more home runs last night. One was a game-winning grand slam that beat a team below the Diamondbacks in the wild card chase. And this is is exciting, extremely important stuff because we have seen Christian Walker demolish Dodger Stadium. We've seen Gino Suarez do the same at Fenway. We've seen hitting streaks and MVP performances from Cattell Marte, and we've seen Jake McCarthy flash like Minnie Mantle, not Mickey Mantle, but nothing is more reassuring than the resurgence of Carroll, who seemed hopelessly lost earlier in the year, struggling up to struggling to barrel up a baseball, relegated to a platoon role by taking a seat against most left-handed starters. That is no longer the case. And to see his superstar DNA shining through is not only essential to another World Series romp, but to the entire future of the organization. And he is proof that if you sparkle late, no one will remember come September. Now, I believe these struggles are only going to help Carroll in the long run because you do not emerge from this kind of adversity without significant personal growth and I believe it's going to make him even better in years to come. All right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at chapmanbmw.com. It feels, it feels good to play well, so, um, you know, I think the beginning of the year was very much a grind. It felt like I didn't take a breath until, um, you know, the, the All-Star break, really. And, uh, you know, from there, kind of was able to get my feet under me a little bit and, um, you know, come out and have a, a strong second half. Um, but, yeah, I mean, first half, I wouldn't say it feels like five years ago. I think there were some, some great lessons learned from it. And, uh, you know, so I hope to keep it somewhat fresh. That's Corbin Carroll last night after the Grand Slam. Two home run game, three over his last two days. He's seventh in Major League Baseball in home runs since the All-Star break after being almost completely absent in the home run category before the All-Star break, which had a lot of people concerned. Is mm -hmm. it his shoulder? Was last year a fluke? Has everybody figured him out? These were all questions that oh, we yeah. were asking. Well, the tinkering never stops. Teams are now going to try to approach Corbin Carroll a different way, and they were having their way with him, but he is murdering the baseball yeah. right now. Yeah, he's scalding hot right now. Um, and, and with what he's done recently, you can frame the stats to make him look really – uh, much different than they did a couple months ago. For instance, I saw this this morning. Since making his Major League debut at the end of August in 2022, Corbin Carroll's got 46 home runs, 55 doubles, 24 triples, 150 RBI, 77 stolen bases, and an 8.4 war. Wins above replacement. Serious numbers. And and see, but now that he's been, now that he's got his power back, you can frame his career. In, in a in a real back on the trajectory kind of light. Well, it it's also the power is back. There's not a lot of wall scrapers happening when, no. when when Corbin Carroll goes deep. He is crushing the baseball. And for a player of his physical stature, we've talked about it a lot. He's not a physically imposing guy. He's not built like your normal power hitter in Major League Baseball. To me, it's it's kind of like when. We used to watch back in the 80s and, and early 90s Spud Webb dunk a basketball. You're mm -hmm. like, wow, that just looks different because he's five oh. foot seven and he's getting up that high. When you see somebody hit a 440 foot home run to straightaway center field, you're expecting him to look like Giancarlo Stanton or Aaron Judge, not be 5'10 and 180 pounds. I, I've said this before. I've, I've seen him in a tank top in the clubhouse before. It, it, you would be blown away at his back muscles, his delt muscles, a, a, up up around his shoulders. What's he's, a delt? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I'm saying, no. you, you don't see it in a baseball uniform. Without it, you yeah. go, whoa, yeah. and you understand immediately. It, he, he's not a slight guy. You just can't see it. 
you can't see the definition he has in his baseball uniform. Yeah, what I've referenced this before as well, what we were accustomed to last year in Corbin Carroll's rookie season, National League Rookie of the Year, to what we had seen for most of the first half of the season and, and even beyond, was a historic drop-off for a Rookie of the mm-hmm. Year in terms of offensive production. And at the time I crunched these numbers, Corbin Carroll, in just in a, one stat, it's not all telling, but it is somewhat telling, OPS. Last year, his OPS was 868. When I did this research, his OPS is 635. So that's a 233-point difference, which Mm -hmm. would have represented over a full season the sixth biggest rookie of the year drop-off in baseball history. Since I crunched those numbers, he's improved his OPS by 90 points. Wow. That's a big jump. It is As you get later in the season, that is a massive jump. Mm -hmm. He's mocking Jared, by the way, who once again insisted... That there was no way he could have a good statistical season. His, his stats will still be much worse than last year okay. by the end of the year. Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not but arguing that. Amid, like, his slugging percentage right now is higher than Josh Bell's. Hmm? And all that guy does is hit home runs. It, now, it's crazy. With that grand slam last night, he's got 45 home runs. He's also in in elite class now. He's one of seven NL players to record at least 45 home runs, 75 stolen bases in the first three years of their career. Now, what makes Carroll even more impressive, he's done it in two seasons worth of games, not three. Yeah, of, because it was a right. it was a cup of coffee in 2022. Right. So so in this club, uh, this club features Barry Bonds, Eric Davis, Hanley Ramirez, Andrew McCutcheon, and Drew Stubbs. Drew? How did Drew Stubbs get in there? I don't know how Drew Stubbs <laughs> got in there. <laughs> uh, so what has changed for Corbin Carroll since earlier in the season? He talked about that last night as well. Yeah, it's been a couple couple mechanical things um, and then, you know, just as much an approach thing as well, I think. Um, so coming, kind of a combination of those two as well as getting just some confidence back. Um, I think just doing a better job of, of being more, uh, just controlling my backside better, uh, not, not losing it and uh, not not overstriding as much um, you know those are all things that are, are kind of fluid and you know change throughout a, a season or a week um, at bat to at bat uh, pitch to pitch so just I think um, I've got some, some stuff I'll look for there in the video and, and see where that's at there's so much wisdom in what he just said too and part of that we can take we can extrapolate it and apply it to Jarrett Carlin mm. listen to the words Jarrett Carlin of Corbin Carroll Control your backside better, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. You guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. What, stealing all your material? No, I don't. <laughs> right to the gutter, all your stuff. The fact that he looked up, it, with all seriousness, looked up for his exit velo and that's, launch angle. That's awesome. Blows my mind. Because <laughs> he sounds dead serious. It's like when Fitz looked up at the screen when he was running for the touchdown in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Just see if anybody was gaining on him. <laughs> Guess what, Fitz? Nobody was gaining on yeah. you. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.